Today I want to talk to you about a very, very common complaint that my high achieving business women come to me with. When we first start to work together, they say, I'm on this revenue roller coaster. I have really good months and then I have really bad months and I don't know how to really achieve consistent income, how to stabilize my business and how to grow my business. And being on the revenue roller coaster, I know it gives you anxiety, it gives you stress, it makes you feel out of control and not able to invest in your business and really make it grow. And ultimately it robs you of your peace and your joy and the happiness that you deserve. So let's talk about ways to stabilize your income, to really stabilize and optimize your business so that you can get off the revenue roller coaster. Before we get started, make sure you hit the bell and you subscribe to our channel so you get notified when new episodes become available here every week. Welcome to Powerhouse Business on YouTube. I'm your host, Carolyn Soldo. I'm a business owner, business scaling master, and mom of two boys. I love thinking big, pushing boundaries, and doing things differently. Most of all, I'm all about achieving massive growth with ease and helping you scale your business by living the life you love. Let's go. So how do we get off the revenue roller coaster? Well, your fix is in your marketing. When you think about what's actually happening with your income, it's all related to new clients coming into your business, right? Getting new clients, signing new contracts, generating revenue, and how consistently you're able to do that. When you're running a business, you really want to be able to predict how much money you will be making, right? Let's say you went to go get a loan from a bank or you asked an investor to invest in your company, they would all ask you for projections. They would say, what are your 12 month projections? How much money will you generate every single month? Where is that money coming from? And how will you generate it? Without projections in your business, you're really out of control, which means that you really don't know how to drive your income, how to drive your customers and how to get yourself ahead in the game and, and create that consistency for yourself. So how do we fix it? Well, it has to do with your marketing and it has to do with the process by which customers find you and then over time start to work with you. And it is a process. So your marketing can't be a game. It can't be frantic. It can't be just throwing spaghetti on the wall. It can't be these disconnected initiatives and campaigns that you're running. And it can't all be in one bucket. So you're, you know, you're, you're risky. Your business has to be diversified when it comes to driving leads. So if you and I work together, I would say, let's design a customer journey. The first thing we need to know is how new people, new customers, new potential customers actually become aware of you. Because the customer journey starts with awareness, okay? That's the moment they actually discover you and find you. They see you somewhere, maybe they see an ad, maybe it's social media, maybe it's an event, maybe it's a workshop. Whatever you do, it's the confetti you put out there. It's the glitter, right? It's maybe a TV ad, maybe a radio ad. It could happen in so many different ways, but it's that moment in time when someone actually becomes aware of you, okay? But that's only step number one. Once someone becomes aware of you, you need to make sure that they become interested, right? How do you make someone interested? Well, it all happens through your messaging, okay? Through what you say, what you put out there, and what people feel and think when they, when they consume the message, right? When they, when they engage with you. So your marketing message and how you brand yourself and how you position yourself is key, right? None of the technology actually makes a difference at all if your messaging and your branding isn't doing the job for you. Now, marketing communications is a whole big world and you could take a college course on marketing communication. So I can only give you a little bit of information in this short video here today, but I want you to really think about your messaging on your website, in your emails, in your advertising, any way you communicate with clients and how you're really branded. Is it professional? Does it give the right image, right? Does it make people feel the things you want them to feel? Does it look the way you want it to look? All these things are important in making people interested in you. The next step on this journey is desire. Being interested is number one, but it's not enough. 
people need to be interested and then they need to really desire to work with you and that's when you make them prefer you over someone else because let's face it everybody here has massive competition there's nothing out there in the world that has not already been done before. So what you're offering, the services you're offering, are being offered by many, many other experts and people out there. So someone might be interested in you, but in order for them to really choose you over the competition, you have to make them really desire you. So they really want you, right? They're really into you for some specific reasons, right? So your marketing process, the tools you're using, whether it is, you know, blog posts or videos or webinars or events or whatever else it might be, needs to ensure that the clients on this journey begin to really desire and really want you. And the number one way, hands down, to accomplish this is through video communications, okay, or in person. But in person is not always feasible because you only have so many hours in a day and you can't duplicate yourself except on video. So anything like video news blogs, a YouTube channel, a video series, online webinars, anything like that will do the trick to help your customers become really interested and then truly desire you. Now there's one more step on your customer journey and that is the action. So once a customer really desires you and they say, mm, I really want to work with this person, this expert, you have to help them take action. So once they desire you, you have to make it easy for them to take action and do what? Book a call with you, jump on the phone, right? Book a video conference, meet with you for coffee, somehow get in touch with you so that they can talk to you and find out more about your services and ultimately buy them, right? So your entire journey again is awareness, interest, desire, and action. And when you're able to automate this entire process, you are going to be in a business that will never run out of leads, that will have massive numbers of leads and the right quality of leads, right? So that you can literally pick and choose who you wanna work with. And with that, once you have that system in place, it will give you consistency, it will give you peace of mind, and you'll be able to scale your company by doing more of the right things, generating more leads, more revenue, and getting off the revenue roller coaster. And now I'd like to hear from you as always down below in the comments. Let me know what your customer journey looks like. Maybe you have one, or maybe you really learned about this idea the first time today. It doesn't matter. Let's have a conversation. Let me know how this resonated with you and what actions you're planning to take based on what you learned today. As always, stay focused on your goals because I believe that you are meant to bring your passions, your expertise, and your skills to a lot more people. If you like this episode, give me a like, subscribe to our channel, and then make sure you come back again next week. Thank you so much for watching and take care. Do you often feel stressed and overwhelmed from growing your business? Do you crave more ease and happiness from your success? What if I gave you a tool that has the power to instantly make you feel focused, peaceful, and at ease, all while growing your business faster than ever before? I've created the Business Growth Scorecard that has helped countless businesswomen replace overwhelm with confidence and now the scorecard is available online. It's free, takes less than 10 minutes, and provides you with a customized growth plan, including your personal scores. Go to businessgrowthscorecard.com to take the test right now. I look forward to helping you grow your business with ease and excellence.